Hello, everyone. Today, we're embarking on an in-depth exploration of one of history's most enigmatic artifacts, the Shroud of Turin. This ancient linen cloth has been the subject of fascination, debate, and reverence for centuries. In this video, we'll delve into its history, the controversies surrounding its authenticity, recent scientific studies, and the profound impact it has had on both believers and skeptics alike. So sit back, relax, and join me on this journey into the mysteries of the Shroud of Turin. To truly appreciate the significance of the Shroud of Turin, we must first understand what it is. The Shroud is a rectangular linen cloth, approximately 14 feet long and 3.5 feet wide, bearing the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered physical trauma consistent with crucifixion. Many believe this to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, used to wrap his body following his crucifixion over two millennia ago. The image on the shroud is both detailed and mysterious. It displays both the front and back of a man, with markings that suggest wounds on the wrists and feet, a side wound, and numerous scourge marks across the body. The face shows signs of injuries consistent with a crown of thorns. These details closely align with the biblical accounts of Jesus' suffering and death, leading many to venerate the shroud as a sacred relic. However, the shroud's authenticity has been a topic of intense debate. Skeptics question its origins, proposing alternative explanations for the image and its history. To understand these debates, it's essential to trace the shroud's journey through history. The earliest documented appearance of the shroud dates back to the 1350s in Lirae, France. A French knight named Geoffroy de Charny is said to have presented it to the dean of the church in Lirae, claiming it to be the authentic burial shroud of Jesus. However, there is no record of how de Charny acquired the shroud or where it was during the 1,300 years following Christ's burial. This gap in the historical record has led to questions and skepticism about its authenticity. In 1502, the shroud was moved to the Saint-Chapelle in Chabry, which is now part of France. In 1532, a fire broke out in the chapel, causing significant damage to the shroud. Molten silver from the container housing the shroud dripped onto the cloth, resulting in burn holes and scorch marks that are still visible today. The shroud was subsequently repaired by nuns, who patched the damaged areas. In 1578, the shroud was transferred to Turin, Italy, where it has remained ever since, housed in the royal chapel of the Cathedral of San Giovanni Battista. Over the centuries, it has been displayed to the public on various occasions, drawing pilgrims and curious observers alike. The shroud's journey through history is marked by periods of veneration and skepticism, while many have revered it as a holy relic, others have questioned its authenticity, leading to numerous scientific investigations aimed at uncovering the truth behind this mysterious cloth. One of the most significant scientific examinations of the shroud occurred in 1988, when radiocarbon dating tests were conducted to determine its age. Samples from the shroud were sent to three laboratories in Zurich, Oxford, and Tucson. The results indicated that the linen dated to between 1260 and 1390 AD, suggesting that the shroud was a medieval creation rather than a relic from the time of Christ. These findings led many to conclude that the shroud was a forgery, possibly created during the Middle Ages. However, the 1988 carbon dating has been the subject of criticism and debate. Some researchers have questioned the validity of the results, suggesting the contamination or the specific area of the shroud from which the samples were taken may have skewed the dating. In recent years, new scientific studies have challenged the 1988 carbon dating results, reigniting the debate over the shroud's authenticity. A team of researchers from Italy's Institute of Crystallography conducted tests using a technique called wide-angle X-ray scattering, or WAXS. This method analyzes the structure of the linen fibers without causing damage. Their findings suggest that the shroud's fabric dates back to the first century, aligning with the time of Jesus Christ. This challenges the earlier carbon dating results and supports the hypothesis that the shroud is approximately 2,000 years old. Lead researcher Dr. Liberato De Caro highlighted potential flaws in the 1988 analysis. He suggested that contamination over the centuries might have skewed the carbon dating results, leading to an incorrect medieval date. The WAXS method, 
being more advanced and less susceptible to such contamination, provides a more accurate estimation of the shroud's age. In addition to dating the shroud, scientific studies have also focused on the nature of the image imprinted on the cloth. The image is a negative, meaning that light and dark are reversed, which becomes apparent when viewed in photographic negative form. This characteristic was first discovered in 1898 when amateur photographer Secondo Pia took the first photographs of the shroud and noticed that the negative plate revealed a clearer and more detailed image of the man. The mechanism by which the image was formed on the shroud remains a mystery. Various hypotheses have been proposed, including the idea that it was created by a form of radiation or energy release at the time of Jesus' resurrection. However, no definitive explanation has been universally accepted, and the image's formation continues to be a subject of ongoing research and debate. Advancements in technology have also allowed experts to recreate the face imprinted on the shroud using artificial intelligence. These AI-generated images depict a bearded man with long hair, bearing wounds consistent with crucifixion. The resemblance to traditional depictions of Jesus is striking, adding another layer to the mystery. Despite these advancements, the Shroud of Turin remains a subject of intense debate. While some view it as a genuine relic of Jesus Christ's burial, others remain skeptical, citing past studies that have questioned its authenticity. The Catholic Church, which houses the Shroud in Turin, Italy, has not taken an official stance on its authenticity, but continues to venerate it as an important symbol of faith. The Shroud's influence extends beyond religious circles. It has inspired numerous works of art, literature, and even films, reflecting its profound impact on culture and society. Whether viewed as a sacred relic or a medieval artifact, the Shroud of Turin continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. As we delve deeper into this topic, it's essential to consider the various perspectives and evidence presented. The Shroud of Turin serves as a bridge between faith and science, prompting questions about history, belief, and the quest for truth. If you found this exploration intriguing, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into history's most captivating mysteries. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay curious. And that brings us to the end of this incredible journey into the mystery of the Shroud of Turin. Whether you're a believer, a skeptic, or just someone fascinated by history, one thing is certain. The Shroud continues to spark debate and curiosity even in 2025. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps us out. Share this video with your friends and family so they can join the discussion too. And most importantly, Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our deep dives into history, science, and the unknown. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious. See you in the next video.